Hello folks, once again, Paul Jackson Jr. here. I am very happy to be back, happy to be alive. God is good. I'm blessed in the Lord and highly favored. And once again, here in the studio, wonderful studio, talking about effects. Now, we've talked a lot in the past about effects and how they uh, can affect your playing, how effects can affect your sound overall. And a Guitar effect, actually use it on clavinet and a lot of other things, piano, electric pianos, that's been around for all, about 50 years, is the wah-wah pedal. Now, there are lots of choices in wah-wah pedals, and far be it from me to tell you, hey, if you buy this effect, this wah-wah, or this delay, or this chorus, or whatever, then you're going to be successful. No, I can't say that. But I can tell you what works, and what works very, very well, and what sounds good. So today, what we're talking about is the exotic pedal, the exotic Wawa, the XW1. And you can see it down here. Very, very nice pedal. Very nice. It's built well. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that it does. Now, it's true bypass, like all of their effects, which is great. But not only that, the toe switch. Now, uh, when you, you want to know that a pedal is on, but you don't want to have to like stomp on it to get it on and off. And I really like the way that the toe switch operates on this pedal. It's very, very simple. It's positive, but not, not you don't feel like you're doing a, an ankle exercise to get it off and on. So, very, very critical, very, you know, because when you're playing, what you don't want to think about is, wow, is the wah-wah on, is it off, is it on? I mean, there's an indicator light, which is also very helpful. And while I'm talking about the indicator light, if you're using batteries, if you're not using an adapter, when the battery starts to get low, the indicator light changes from red to blue. So that's critical. So you know if you're using batteries, you know it's time to change the battery. Okay, so you got the indicator light there. And then on the side, I won't reach down because we actually have a shot of it, but there are four controls. There's bias, there's Q, which is the wah Q, there's bass and treble. And the best way probably to, to uh, tell you what they do is by demonstrating them. First, uh, Let's fool around with the bias a little bit. Now, I set my bias a little about 1 o'clock. I have the Q back around 11, and I roll off a little bit of bass. But let me just start. That's what you were hearing earlier. Let me just start. Let's, let's start everything at 12 o'clock, and we'll go from there. All right. So put everything in the middle there. All righty. <laughs> Okay, now let's back off of the bias, and what I'm going to do is just hit a note while I'm backing off on the bias. So let's put the pedal back. And you hear kind of the low end change as you change the bias. So let's put it all the way back. Really thins out the sound. To me, probably too much, but that might be a desired effect. But that's the bias all the way back. And so you hear very very, very light wah, wah effect. Okay, let's just roll it all the way up for grins. Just So you really hear it coming in. Wow. 
So it affects the overall tone. It also affects the overall output because it rolls in a whole lot of, of a whole lot of body. And also, you can kind of think of it as the amount of the effect. You, you know, I don't I don't like to use that word, but you can sort of think of it like, okay, I need more or less of the effect, then you can kind of roll it in and out with the bias. So I'll put it back where I like it. Right about one o'clock. Okay. All right, now let's deal with the cue for a second. Now the cue can be thought of as kind of like the peak frequency, if you if you will. But like I said, the best way for me to show you is just to to fool with it. So here's the cue all the way off. Almost non existent. Okay, let's turn the cue all the way up. So you see the sweep is very, very wide now, as opposed to the sweep being narrow, almost non existent. Now the sweep is very wide. So that's what the cue does for the pedal. Let me roll it back to class, like I said, where I like it, which is about, yeah, about 11 o'clock. Well, 11.30. All right, there we go. Now, bass and treble, that's pretty self-explanatory, except the cool thing about having a bass and treble on a Wawa is that Wawa's, when they're all the way forward, they add a lot of peaks, a lot of treble. When they're back, they add a lot of bass. Depending on what kind of music you're playing, lots of treble might be desirable, maybe not. Uh, less bass might be desirable, maybe not. But you can control it on the Wawa, which is cool. So you don't have to fool with your amp and affect all the rest of your sounds um, just to make the Wawa more palatable. You can actually do it on the Wawa. And, and you know, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Treble, rolls the treble down. More treble, you can hear it. Same thing with the bass. A lot of the bottom. Lots in, all the way up, just for grin. A little too much for my taste, but hey, you know what it does. All righty. So, the cool thing is, like I said, with those effects, with the bias control, the cue, and the EQ, the bass and treble, you can really tailor the Wawa sound to things you've heard on record or things you're hearing in your head or just trying some new, uh, some new approaches to using a Wawa. Now, you're probably wondering why EQ and the Q function and a bias are important on a Wawa. Well, let's say you're in a recording session and producers don't know bias and Q and they may not even really know bass and treble, but they may tell you, hey, you know what? The Wawa, can you make it sweep a little less? You know, does it have to be so wide? And you say, hmm, wait a second, let me adjust it. So you go down, you pull the bias back a little bit, you pull the cue back a little bit, and it's less wide. And he says, nah, put it back the way it was. I like it when it wad a little bit more. And that's how people communicate. It's, it's not, well, you know, I, I hear a little bit more, uh, a little bit more cue. Can you increase the cue? No, he's going to say, hey, you know, put, put it back where it was. I think the Wawa needs to be stronger. You say, okay, great. So you go, roll the bias back, roll the cue in a little bit, maybe add a little low end.
And he says, yeah, that's perfect. So the controls are there so you can tailor it not only to your personal taste, but to the, the taste of people that you're working for who may not know exactly how to communicate the technical aspects of how a Wawa works, but they know what they're hearing sound-wise. And because of the bias control, the cue control, the treble and the bass, you're able to tailor the sound to the way you want it. Let's talk about construction for a minute, at least the way that the, the pedal is built. You can see it's really solid, you know, really, really solidly built. One of the things I want to talk about is noise. Now, with a lot of Wawa's, a lot of Wawa pedals, when you're sweeping, when it's on, this pedal's all the way on, my guitar's all the way on, what you're gonna hear is or you'll hear a lot of scratch, you know, when you're, when you're um, moving the pedal. The scratch here is non-existent, and that's critical because, especially if you're playing with a really loud sound or a lead tone, what you don't want is more noise. You don't want more scratch, more, you know, it, it's very, very quiet, which for Wawa's is eh, almost non-existent. So that's really, really critical. That's one of the things I love about this pedal is no noise. It's on. It's off. It's on. It's off. No difference. And you'll be hard pressed to find that in a lot of Wawa pedals. So really, really, really great. Very well constructed. Um, it's got more controls. Now some guys use humbuckers, some guys use single coils, some guys use active guitars, passive guitars. It's got inside, it's got an input pot so you can vary that if you think the input is not driving the Wawa hard enough you're going for a spe uh, specific sound you can crank the input gain uh, you think maybe it's overloading you can back it up a little bit for different kinds of pickups uh, also it has more dip switches for more ways of affecting the tone so if you really want to get creative you know pop the bottom off and, um, and go in there and, and start experimenting but this is a great great pedal very simple pedal very easy to operate um, wonderful feel wonderful feel not it doesn't bind in any way you know so you don't spend time thinking about how the wawa feels you spend time making music and ultimately that's what you want to do is spend time making music